Hi, Kit Kids. Welcome. This is Miss Chris. And I'm Miss Smiley. And we want to welcome you to Craft Day 2020. Looks a little different this year than usual. Uh, we are in Cafe 10. Uh, your boxes are over there ready to go, but uh, we definitely miss you. We miss having everybody here, but uh, we're trying to be very wise and we want to keep you all safe. And uh, we could have canceled, but we wanted to give everybody an opportunity to still do craft day, uh, but it'll be at the safety, uh, in the safety of your home with your family. So we hope that you have a super fun day today. Uh, this is our intro video, and we're just going to talk a little <laughs> bit about what you can expect uh, with the rest of our videos. Okay, in your box. You've all got a clear ornament, and as you know, in the past, we've put paint inside and slowly rotated, but you know, you can put glitter in there. I put, just right now, this minute, a uh, pipe cleaner, but a Christmassy one. Just remember, whatever you put in there, if it gets too heavy, it's gonna fall off the tree. But you can do what you want with it, or you can even paint the outside. I think a, a color on the inside of maybe in a flower or whatever. Then we also have this where you can, you know we've painted the outside of these and we've made cactuses and we've made mountain scenes and we've even done this. And this looks really fun on the tree. So the neat thing about the way that we're doing it this year, even though like we said, we're really gonna miss having you all here, um, the neat thing is if you miss the 10 o'clock start time, it's okay because um, they're all videos that you can pause and replay if you need to and rewind and you can take your time and do it in the evening if that works better for your family or um, do it, maybe do a craft every day until uh, Christmas comes. And so um, that's the neat thing about the way that we're doing it this year, that it could be at your pace. So. We really hope that everybody had a chance to come and pick up the kids. Um, if, if you didn't by any chance, uh, just call the church and we can make sure and get you the materials. A lot of the crafts you can do with stuff that you already have at home. But in the kit, you're going to be getting um, little uh, baggies like this that are labeled. So if, the, if it has a label like this, there is most likely a video that goes with it. For example, this is a tea light snowman um, that my girls did, that we did at home, and this is the cardboard reindeer that Miss Chris is showing you. So if you get out of this video and look uh, at the rest of the series, they're very clearly labeled. You'll be able to just click on cardboard reindeer and follow along with uh, Sophie and Lily and myself, and we can do it together even though we're not together. Um, and again, you can pause it, you can rewind it, you can rewatch it, you can um, laugh at us because sometimes we say and do silly things, but um, that's the way that this year's uh, virtual craft day is going to look. This one is Miss Cinda's and she's provided all the stuff and you can see the little guy. You can put him in your window or by your tree or wherever you like. Um, I want to thank everyone. I want to thank the Valdivias, Maribel, especially for all the work that she's put into this because I'm technically challenged. We also had some leftover crafts from different VBSs and stuff and I have put a treasure chest in. We're using these because these were broken, but um, you have some in yours. So you can decorate it with the stuff inside. So that's the before. You'll get a like a blank canvas almost and everything that's inside that you can just glue on there. And you can use the little box for a number of things. You can even um, wrap a present in there and give it to somebody or keep it for your jewelry or coin collection or whatever it is. So the, the key of craft day as is with every year is to be creative to um, add your own unique style to all the crafts, to um, have fun and um, keep some of the stuff, but remember how important and how wonderful it is to give to others as well. So yeah. some of the really nice things, which all of them should come out super nice, but uh, some of these items you can give as a gift. So um, again, we encourage you all to get into the Christmas spirit and do that. 
When you look at the ribbon and bead uh, craft, Miss Karis and uh, her fiance did the videos. And I want you to know that the ribbon in here might be too short, so I'm going to include another ribbon. We have also put other things in there, and you have stuff at home. Like if you have an old CD, glitter that or paint that and put a ribbon around it and hang it on your tree. Or, um, and as I told you, these ornaments we used to put paint in. Uh, remember, don't limit yourself to just what's in the box. If you have different craft materials in your house, um, just make an event of it. Take out everything from the craft box and then add whatever you have from your house. And again, just just have a really good Go time wild, making guys. things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we did this and they were not as big as I thought when we ordered them. I thought they'd be a little bigger, but uh, still you've got paint, you've got a brush in there. I put some toothpicks in there so that you can take the black and put eyes on the snowman or whatever. Um, have fun with this. I uh, want you to have uh, a good time. We want to thank you. Uh, we love you. We're praying for you. Uh, pray that you have a wonderful Christmas. And remember, it's not about the presents. It's not about any of that. What it is is about the family time, being together, uh, honoring God, remembering that it's Christ's birth. But he didn't stay a baby. Just remember that. We celebrate Easter because he grew up. He had 33 years on this earth. And um, then he died for us. And it was a horrific death. It wasn't just falling asleep. It was horrific. He took our punishment. And he didn't stay dead. He rose again. And he is alive. And he is active. And he is in our lives. And I pray that you would have that peace and that hope and that understanding that God is with you during this time. Because it's tough, guys. I know you miss your friends. You miss playing anywhere and everywhere that you want to, going on different excursions. I know you miss that. And I know you miss coming here. Um, so I just, uh, we pray for you. We love you. We do. We pray for you um, daily. We think of you all often. And so as you are doing these crafts and as Miss Chris was talking about the Christmas story, I was reminded that we're also working on another video um, for Christmas, uh, our Christmas program. And so um, as she was talking about uh, Jesus being born, that's another video that we're going to have available for you guys that you can sit together with your family and watch and listen to the Christmas story and then see some really fun dancing. Um, and you still have an opportunity to participate in that. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, please give us a call, send us a text or an email, and uh, we'll make sure that you are included in that as well. Yeah, those that have already yes. sent videos in, they are so fun and I'm so excited and thrilled and blessed by those who've stepped out. It's not easy, guys, I know. Uh, but. It's so fun when you share your gifts, your abilities, and just your fun personalities with us. Um, it just makes it so much more fun for everyone. I guess that's it. So yeah. have fun crafting. Click out of this video and start clicking on the other ones. Kind of explore them. There isn't a whole lot, but again, that leaves you plenty of opportunity to be creative with the other materials. But um, watch the videos that did get done. We're, we appreciate everybody that took the time to do that. Absolutely. And we thank you for taking the time to join us and do this. And hey, I just want to give you a heads up. You're all going to get an Advent book. I know it's late, but it's still going to be fun. You're still going to be able to do the searches and the coloring and the different things. And um, we love you guys. Uh, those Advent books will be ready on Sunday. All right, Merry Christmas. Merry Thanks, Christmas. Guys. God bless.